Moralco and NLEX each put to good use some lessons learned from past losses. HOW they do so again and against each other would be known in their Petron's Saturday encounter in the PBA Philippine Cup at the Eners Center in Antipolo City. The Bolts are looking for a second straight win and third in five games overall that would put them over. 500 for the first time in the last three seasons. The Road Warriors are also gunning for a second straight win that should further stoke their rise from the cellar, a place they languished in after starting the season opening tourney with three straight losses. The biggest question is how each has fine-tuned the adjustments they made in coming up victorious their last time out. Moralco is coming off an 88-77 win over TNT last Wednesday to bounce back strong from a 93-105 pummeling from San Miguel Beer the week before. Coach Norman Black chiefly attributed the triumph to his rotation, being limited to players who have played extensively with each other before, resulting in better team communication, especially on defense. I shortened our rotation today, tried to get some guys on the floor who have had some chemistry in the past," said Black after the TNT game. I think that was our problem with the San Miguel game," added Black. I was mixing new players with old players. A lot of times there were breakdowns in defensive communication. But tonight, our communication, particularly on defense, was a lot better. They switched a lot on their offense, and we were able to defend that dot dot for NLEX, it should be mainly about maximizing the newly discovered frontline partnership of J.P. Aram and Marion Maggot, which was mainly the key in the Road Warriors' breakthrough 107-97 win over Colombian last Sunday. In that game, Aram played his best game yet in an NLEX uniform with gamut highs of 23 points, 6 assists and 5 blocked shots on top of 10 rebounds while Maggot wound up with a career game of 14 points and 13 rebounds. NLEX coach Yang Giao admitted to using the pair out of necessity since J.R. Quinnathan was sidelined then by a sprain he sustained in an 80-85 loss to TNT the Wednesday before. Chris Porter also got taken out by a busted lip midway in the fourth period. Quinnathan and Porter are expected to return to action, but one combination Giao is sure to try and avoid is that of pairing up Ossi Tolava and Rawls Soyet up front. The two were inside when Colombian staged a second-half fight back that whittled what was once a 31-point deficit to within manageable levels. That was a kind of weakness for us because of the speed the other team has, plus they can shoot the outside shot," admitted Gao.